Congratulations! Your community is in the midst of building a stronger food system future for itself, a stronger local economic system for itself. Your community is in the midst of building a food co-op. But the big question is, why the heck can't we just get this food co-op open tomorrow? First, let's be clear about what you're building together. You're building a business. You're building a grocery store business, one that you will own together as a community for decades to come. Like these. In this day and age, building a grocery business is serious work. Between the fact that technology is constantly changing, customer expectations are constantly changing, and competition is constantly changing, we have to put in the time and planning to do this thing right. That's why we here at Food Co-op Initiative, along with our peers at CDS Consulting, have developed something called the Developmental Timeline. Now, just what is the Developmental Timeline? Here's the super, super brief version. It is a large and complex detailed tool that shows you the developmental steps every step of the way in building your food co-op successfully. And it's based on a decade of research and direct work with food co-op startups like yourselves that have gotten open. There are three stages to the developmental timeline. There's organizing stage one. Organizing is when your community decides to build a food co-op, comes up with a vision and a mission for why they want a food co-op in their community, builds their initial leadership team, called the board or the strategic planning team, and then actually starts to sell shares of the co-op in the community, testing interest. Stage two, possibly the longest stage for most startups, is feasibility and planning. We're building a serious business, and to do that, we need to test the financial feasibility, the market feasibility, and the organizational capacity of our food co-op to really open a successful business. We're going to be investing thousands, probably millions of dollars to open this co-op. We have to make sure the business is going to work. There's in-depth financial planning, there's market studies, professionally done, all sorts of things happen during this phase. And on top of all of that feasibility work, we're planning, which means we're looking at potential sites and locations and building potential relationships with building owners, making sure there are sites available in our community that could work for our grocery store. And on top of that, we need to be growing our ownership base exponentially, showing that there is interest and capacity in the community to grow this co-op. Stage three is kind of the most exciting, honestly, and that's implementation. After all of this work, we're now ready to hire our general manager. That general manager is going to help to get the store open and run it. We also might be hiring a project manager to oversee construction. During this phase, we're going to be doing store design, store layout, picking equipment, setting product policies, developing relationships with vendors, developing relationships with local farmers, hiring the rest of the staff, and oh yeah, actually building the thing. Now what's stage four? I said there were only three stages, but there is a fourth stage. Stage four is open, like these successful food co-op startups. After over a decade of working with food co-op startups and helping over 120 food co-ops open around the country, we know it takes on average four to seven years to open a food co-op. Now that's development, implementation, feasibility, all of it. Occasionally, rarely, we do see a startup that takes only three years from organizing all the way to open. And occasionally there is one that takes as long as 10 years to open some wildly successful co-ops, like River Valley Co-op. River Valley took 10 years to organize and is having terrific impact on their community and is going to be here for decades to come. You can trust that your food co-op board is following a tried and true developmental model and putting in the time necessary for success, not just dragging it out for fun. <laughs> this has been Jacqueline Hanna, Assistant Director at Food Co-op Initiative, answering your questions about your startup food co-op. Got more questions? We've got answers. Email us at info at fci.coop or check out our website full of free tools and resources all about how to develop a food co-op. Oh, and one more thing before we forget. 
None of these educational tools or this video today would be possible without all of our supporters and donors. Thank you. Got a food co-op development topic you'd like to see us tackle? Email it to us at info at or comment below.